the first thing you need is a piece of line that has enough length to extend at least as far as you want your line to dangle in the current. The idea is that this is going to be coming off of our weight that is sitting on the bottom, and this piece is going to hang off the bottom with a hook and a bait. So whatever you think your length is for this, whether it's a foot, two, three feet, depending on your conditions, cut at least that much and then a little bit extra for knots. The next thing we need is a weight. Now since I'm teaching you guys how to set up a rig for river fishing with somewhat of a current, you know, big river fishing even, uh, you're going to at least want an ounce or two weight. And of course we're going to need a hook and some bait. Typically for these river rigs, I'm not going to use artificial bait. I'm going to use a crawler, a leech, minnow, whatever is really hitting well that day. But um, typically crawlers are just fine for a lot of these bottom feeders. They're not too picky. But whatever your bait of choice is, you're going to need a hook to attach it. Again, consider the size of the hook depending on the size of the fish you're targeting. Obviously this is a very small hook. Just for example purposes, doesn't really matter what size hook you use if you're looking for fault small fish. This work rig has worked for perch too, and uh, this would be a perfect size for that. So the first thing we're going to do is take the end of our line and tie on one of these big weights. Use whatever knot you prefer. For me, I like to use a cinch knot. Some people don't trust the cinch knot. If you'd like to use the cinch knot, pause the video and click the link that's popping up on the screen right now. That video will teach you how to tie the cinch knot. It's really simple, it's really easy to follow, and it works. One thing to consider with these weights, sometimes the ones with the metal inside, the metal will just pull right out, okay? Even though it's kind of flange on that side, it doesn't help. So, if you don't trust this piece, tie the weight on directly through the hole. So pull out the metal piece and actually put the line all the way through the weight and tie the weight on. That way it won't come out. So, you know, word of caution on the way these metal things are on the interior. Once we have our weight tied, it's time to bring in our piece of line that is going to go from the weight to the hook where our bait is stored. So at this point, take a piece of line. I really like to go a couple feet. I'd probably cut this one down a little smaller tie it onto your weight. Alright, I have my weight tied on. Now the last step is to pick an appropriate size hook and tie your hook on to the smaller piece of line coming off from the weight. So, right here is my line. Here is my hook. Again, use whatever knot you would prefer and attach your hook. Alright, I have my hook attached. And now at this point you would just load up your bait. Here's your rig. Line comes from the fishing pole to the weight. Smaller piece of line from the weight to the hook. The weight sits on the bottom, and the hook just kind of dangles in the current. And then the fish attack, and you 